my boy. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Give us a tour, Blakey. Do you want a tour? This is a bus, basically. <laughs> um, there's chairs. We sit. It's a tube bus. We've got and done it. We've got a tube bus. Right then. So what are we doing now? So, we've got a bus. <laughs> now what do we do? To be honest, I couldn't believe it. As soon as I heard Nick was buying a bus, it was like, here we go again. I think it would be quite a cool idea if it can, we can get it going. So the plan is this back end here, this will all be a video studio. When Nick told me we were getting a bus, I thought there's no way we ever see that through, but here we are. The idea of a bus has been kind of hanging around since the early days of tubers. We've got to keep one of those buttons, eh? And then some editing computers, PCs. Yeah, we've got to get a couple of VR pods in there. Space would be an issue, I would think, but there's a lot you can do with small space these days. And some Xbox, Playstations, etc. This is going to be awesome. Uh, to be honest, I'm feeling the pressure on this one a little bit. There's a lot of people who want to see this happen. Uh, I promised it. <laughs> I'm feeling the pressure a little bit. I'm super confident it's all going to go well. See you later, Tubus. So we're going to document this whole process, turning this into a mobile tubers. It's going to be a fun ride. Follow along, guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Why can't I just talk? Uh, it's just like, in, the head, it's in your head now. Because <laughs> I'm presenting it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm Nick Ellison. I'm the founder of Tubers Academy. This journey started in 2017 when we opened the first academy in Exeter with one really simple goal in mind to help young people get access to video studios, equipment and training. To really oversimplify it, we were going to help kids make YouTube videos. <laughs> mode of course i'm very excited today i'm at the uk's first vlogging school and i'm going to learn a few things from these guys yeah! i went through the process of struggling to learn how to make videos uh, it's really difficult it's quite hard when you're on your own there's kind of an environment you need to think about there's the equipment you need to think about your own presentation and your own skill sets there's so much going on and i just thought do you know what if somebody could help me go through this process, it would have been so much quicker. So this idea was born of helping young people make videos. We've got a business launch to tell you all about, and it is called Tubers, the YouTube Creators Academy. And so I just bit the bullet. I went and got a, a premises in Exeter. On the open day, 350 people turned up, families, kids, everyone, all to come and have a look. And we thought right then, we're onto something. Not for a minute did we realize then where we were gonna be today. From that point, we've now opened a second premises, which is nearly twice the size. We've added on a restaurant, so we now own a gaming diner full of VR games. It's fun, waffles, burgers, fries. We've built our own e-learning platform. We built Tubers Online alongside that. And then the obviously natural progression was to buy a bus. We're gonna make Tubers mobile. We're gonna to go to the schools, we're gonna to go to the kids, we're gonna to go to the events. So a huge challenge is making sure this works and it's usable at the same time. It's gotta look cool, but it's gotta be functional. So I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna draw it on the back of a napkin and hand it to the, uh, the fitters. So we've got in some expert help, our good friend Demi Keenan, and she's helping us out with the design aspects. We went to her to help us with our diner, so Tubers Play. But now we've got an even bigger challenge in a smaller space. We knew who to call. Uh, sorry, you can sorry. cut that bit. <laughs> I'm Demi Keenan and I'm an interior designer. Tubers was um, already a building, an existing building. It was just one huge great room. We have a cafe now and different zoned areas for the VR, for the eating, for the dining. So the new project sets that very aside because it's on wheels. So um, interesting, very interesting, and I cannot wait to get started. So we've got ourselves a bus. We're gonna try and fit this out like Tubers Academy. So it's everything that we do from making videos to gaming, VR, editing. It's all gotta fit inside there so they get the whole kind of Tubers experience. Do the doors even open? I don't know, do they? <laughs> <laughs> they did once upon a time. <laughs> oh, there we go. Perfect. Ah, let's go. I'm loving the uh, the wire holding the wheels together. That's all right. <laughs> That's... That'll be fine. Don't worry about that. No problem. <laughs> what are we playing with here? We've got ourselves a bus. <laughs> We need some serious designing on this thing. Um, so first job, obviously we're going to rip out all these seats so you can get a good look at what the size is like. Yeah. This section here that we're standing in, we've got to find space for 
uh, some editing computers, some Apple Macs, mm -hmm. probably at least three, two, maybe three, I think. Essentially, right at the back, we're looking at some sort of video studio. So I think that's where we're going to sit down at some sort of bench, film. Probably have to black out the um, the ceiling skylight. Yeah, I think you'll, pr I'm guessing, I'm not sure yet, but I'm guessing we'll probably face forward and have the screen. So this might be, might even be able to utilize this, I don't know. Um, some sort of bench, couple of, um, couple of monitors. Uh, box all the windows in. What will be quite nice is to have a, a choice of how it looks on camera. So whether yeah. we can change the background, like a green screen or something. Yeah, Probably definitely. bring these walls up here, I'd imagine. Yeah, because we can use that to put a computer on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, it makes absolute sense. I imagine something mm -hmm. here, sit there yeah. to edit the computer on the back here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I might just give a couple of options of how I can see this working. Yeah. Whether it's like your studio at home or whether we do more kind of funky seating, if that would work. So if I do my crazy thoughts of how yeah. it could be, yeah. and then you do your more practical, <laughs> but we do you the, the couple of options. Yeah, so bounce back and forward yeah. some ideas. As soon as you get the 3D visuals, you can literally walk through the bus and then we can tinker with it. All right then, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Perfect. I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah. Getting the whole of Tubers Academy into one bus. That, I think, is the biggest challenge. So many different aspects of that to put in one place. Let's go. <laughs> uh. So a huge challenge is to power all this stuff. I'm definitely gonna need some help with that. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna run this off batteries or we're gonna have a generator or some solar panels on the roof, maybe a bit of everything. This is quite a challenge. Probably one of the biggest ones is how do we power all this stuff for an entire day if we haven't got our mains electricity hookup? So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, that's even possible. Uh, this has got to be on the road, running as kind of a video studio. Uh, we're going to do some gaming, we're going to do some video editing, but we're going to need to run it for like six to eight hours. So uh, I know nothing about how the electric stuff goes, how much power consumption all these things have. Yeah. Okay. I'm imagining we're going to end up with some huge, big batteries and Generators, maybe a generator, maybe yeah. a, uh, we might even Silent need a, a power source. But I'll yeah. roughly run, run you through how this is going to operate. So this will be a video studio. Yeah. This whole section up here. Essentially it'll run like uh, an Apple Mac computer, a couple of monitors, two cameras and a few okay. bits and bobs like a switcher. But obviously it's got to look cool as well. So you've got like the functional stuff like how we make video and then you've got like the dressing. Coloured LEDs probably everywhere. Uh, not yeah. everywhere, but it's got to look nice. So that's kind of this section. It's this side here I was that gonna um, say it's probably going to suck all the power. Yeah, okay. We're thinking Apple Mac computers down here. How many? So two to four. So it's Apple Macs and then likely Xboxes. Really two PCs as well. Okay. So it'll give us four Macs, two PCs and two consoles if we can fit that in. Uh, probably a charging station. Okay. For all our mobile stuff, uh, VR headsets. Yes, the okay, battery yeah. Battery power, we're gonna need to charge them. They only last for about two hours. If we're at a show for six to eight hours, we're gonna be on charge all day. Yeah, okay. There's a lot, is there? It's a lot of power. <laughs> Look, there's just a, <laughs> a lot, lot of, stuff. of... I know it's only just scribbled down notes, but there's a lot of equipment. That's the one bit that I've been more worried about than anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what's fine. gonna make it, you know, so yeah. we're gonna make or break it. So big job for me is to make a big list of all the equipment. Yeah. Literally spec it out. As, as best as you can. It doesn't have to be, a, you know, any details you're missing, I can, I'm sure I can find out. Yeah. But yeah, just as much as possible. Cool, I'm all right with that, I can do that. So looking forward to um, smashing it up, getting the seats out. Yes, yeah. nice. definitely. Get some, uh, get the angle grinder in there. A little bit of disruption. Yeah. My name's John. I'm Chris. <laughs> and together we are. <laughs> We're Carpentry Solutions Southwest. Yeah, basically is just rocked up with a bus and said, I want that to be a tubers on wheels. Ripping the bus uh, out or apart is, is like a really sort of easy job, which is why I let Chris do most of the work. <laughs> I'm the only one who dare touch a grinder after us two. Yeah. John's scared of sparks because of his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know when you do the edit? Oh yeah. You
good start and uh, ready for the next step. The hardest bit? Understanding Nick's plans. Understanding Nick's drawings. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing, Debbie? Yeah, good, thank you. Exciting? It is very exciting. Just, just thought I would um, bring the lappy down to show you what we've got going on so far. So excuse really? the fact that it looks very much like it's a rectangle. It's not going to go very fast, the no wheels. <laughs> no, more. So the ideal concept for this is basically it's going to be a VR studio, computer consoles, everything from inside tubers on the bus. We've got just a small seating area here. Um, on the other side, we've just got a basic storage unit. Obviously, there's going to be a window here. And then we loved the idea that when you go through, you've got this circular kind of almost like going through the keyhole yeah. so it's given you different stages i remember discussing this and this can all light up can't it yeah. kind of like leds as if you're walking yeah walking through the tunnel yeah and you see the studio stuff. like kind of at the end yeah yeah the tube the yeah. tube, the tube bus <laughs> tunnel so initial thoughts on video studio one of our challenges is to get all this kit lights cameras microphones coming in a stream deck where they change scenes mm. all here but all fixed. Yeah. It's almost like a custom bench, I think, isn't it? Where everything fits. Yeah. I like. <laughs> I like it. I don't think that's what that's what it would look like. We just basically just box it in and sink TVs into the walls everywhere. Oh, really? And so that felt like it was just going to come out as like, yeah, a black a MDF box. box. So to see that is brilliant. Brilliant. Well done. Well done. The basic plan of the bus, um, we'd love to walk through the main doors and then there are different zones and to separate those zones we have decided to do it kind of a tunnel version, a tunnel vision. So you, when you walk through you'll have these illuminated strips that get slightly smaller on the way down leading you to the end of the bus where the whole studio will be. Within those divisions on the left hand side there will be consoles and then the end zone will be the studio where it all goes on and the editing with the green screen at the back. Yeah, just keeping it creative, keeping it a little bit different and um, keeping it really exciting. When I received the plans, obviously look at them and uh, yeah, I'm not really too sure about how it's all going to fit in. Uh, the circles look interesting, but Squeezing that amount of tech into one small space. I don't know if it's going to work. It's, it's pretty tight. Demi's drawings are good, but they're just, it's not a square, perfect shape like she's drawn everything to. Yeah. The bus tapers, the, the, the sides taper, the height tapers. It's going to be fun. I like being challenged. And challenging. Yeah. Our work done to the bus so far, we've had good and bad. So we've had the windows tinted, they look awesome. So we've gone with this 5% tint, which is basically pitch black. I've just got back from the sign writers as well. So we've just been going over like tweaks to the external designs. So the whole bus is gonna be uh, black basically. Obviously it's white now, it's had black tinted windows. It's gonna be sprayed entirely black and then we've got all our arrows going over it. One other big change we had to make whilst we were looking at the design of things is how we're gonna power all this. So the power's a huge thing. So we were gonna use lithium ion batteries and it was like 19,000 pounds. So we threw that away and we've gone for a generator. The boys are making the stations at the minute, like the PC stations, uh, where we're gonna put the gaming PCs and the Mac so we can edit video. We're like, you know, we've got a shelf for the keyboard and all that sort of stuff. Basically we're building uh, modules for the tube bus. Um, so we're gonna, we've now come up with the idea that we're gonna inset the monitor. So that sits at the back. Yep. For the 100 mil gap. Yeah, there's plenty of room to get to it then, isn't there? I think that'll look all right The actually. issue that we had was that we were too close to the screen. We have another three modules left to build. We also have four tubes to build to create the tube effect. I think we can finish it, but it will be tight. <laughs> so we've come up today to move the bus up to the spray booth. Uh, the batteries are dead, so I knew this yesterday, so what I did is I bought a trickle charger to try and get the thing uh, started so we can get it up to the spray booth. It's literally like 50 metres up there. I've been here since half past eight this morning. It's now half past one. Uh, nothing's worked. We tried jump starting it, all sorts, nothing's happening. So I've been out and bought two brand new batteries and uh, yeah, this has to work, right? 
two brand new batteries. Let's get this bus started and get it up to that spray booth. Should I give it a go? Yeah, give it a go, should be good. Right, right, moment of truth. I've been doing this for like five hours to try and get this thing started up. We have lights on the dashboard. Stage one. Oh yeah, that's the best noise I've heard all day. It's not starting. <laughs> Let me try that again. You little beauty. <laughs> Woo, the two buses running. <laughs> I've been here all day just trying to get that started. Yes, mate. Well, I'm happy now. That's a tough day, that. We've gone through every scenario from charging, buying one of these to trickle charging it, um, to jump starting off a massive scaffold truck, big lorry. Uh, nothing's worked. And so, new batteries it was, and it's working. I'm happy. Let's just get it up there. We'll work the rest out in a minute. Bye. It's got to be tubered up. The process is to get the whole bus sanded down, get it all sprayed, looking black. There's all these panels that uh, uh, cover up all the electrics in the bus. Unless we do something with them, it just looks like hard, kind of beige, horrible plastic. We've got to get them all down, get them all wrapped nicely, and then uh, get them all to fit back in place. Uh, so yeah, another fun job. Actually, wasn't too bad, actually, look. Get all the panels off. Gonna wrap those tomorrow. I've got to fit them again so that John can come in and fit a load of these and all the partitions. So, uh, yeah, that's happening this weekend. Let's go. So, we're masking up ready for paint at the moment. Um, it's looking a bit cloudy, but I'm hoping it stays dry because the paint that we use is a solvent base and obviously rainwater reacts with it and creates craters. It, even if we started it and it started raining, we'll have to stop for, and wait for an extra dry day. Hopefully all goes well and the weather gods are with us. We're currently ready to paint. And final, final mask in preparations, and then there it, and then it's paint. So as you can see, the bus has been sprayed. That's a massive stage that I want to get done because obviously the weather's coming in, it's that time of year and we have to spray it outside because no one's really got a spray booth big enough to drive a 32-seater bus in. So really happy to see it all sprayed. We're currently inside now. John's uh, fitting furniture, so the big archways, that's all been sprayed. The computer booth, he's in there now fitting it with all the, the plastic panels and then the LEDs are gonna go in. Now we're into the install stage. What we're going to be doing is we've got some screens, you can probably see behind me some dividers, and then we're going to sandwich a Perspex in between, another divider, and then we're sliding up the game stations or the PC stations. I've been in today just doing the roof panels, so some acoustic paneling, covering them all in material, take out some of that echo and make the, the audio sound good. Really exciting time in the minute. Basically, I've spent all day, uh, I've managed to get one in one one module so that means i've got another three to do today the time is four o'clock but yeah i've got a really long night ahead so where we're at now is john has fitted the six computer booths so there's going to be three max three PCs, they're looking absolutely awesome. Currently talking to the electricians now, we're gonna come and run LEDs all the way around, kind of the big curve, so it's all gonna light up, set all the atmosphere. What we're working on now is the kind of studio area, so there's gonna be a full uh, multi-cam switcher studio in here with a green screen, so it'll be a big desk with monitors and a switcher. Kids will be able to come in and learn full professional video production. So uh, that is all gonna get fitted here, 
in this section. We've got some seating to put in, some storage, the usual stuff, just so we can kind of use the bus on a day to day. And uh, yeah, excited to see the next stage come together. Okay, we're supposed to be dropping this bus off today at the sign writers. Last minute, they called up and said, have you cleaned the bus? It's like, no. <laughs> like it needs to be spick and span. It needs to be clean inside and out. This was just covered in sawdust and tools and wood like 30 minutes ago. The outside is filthy and I've got two hours to clean it inside and out properly and get it up to, uh, up to Heathfield. So another like half an hour, 40 minutes away. So uh, we're gonna go up the road, we're gonna clean the outside, we're gonna drive it to Heathfield and then uh, we're gonna get it signed in and it's gonna look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Big black bus, all the graphics. Gotta look the part when it turns up to a school or an event so everyone knows what Tubers is. I'm Scott from D-Signs. I'm the director here, along with my business partner, Richard. We do an awful lot of vehicle branding. We've done signers for Tubers now for a good few years, and now we're onto the bus, which is, is eventually got here. Been a long process. We've done three initial designs to start with for Nick. Um, we narrowed it down to two, then it obviously down to the one we're doing over the next few days. But the boys are ready, the vinyls are prepped, and uh, we're, we're gonna start it this afternoon. The graphics all ready, prepped, ready to apply onto the coach, and we need to get it looking like that. Uh, about three quarters of the way through now. Going well. No mistakes so far, nothing no, going wrong. No, <laughs> no, never. <laughs> We've got all the acrylic screens to do, and then wrapping the desk, which is going to be an interesting one. That's about it, yeah. Probably just heat it in, just to keep it there. That's it. We're up at D-Signs doing all the graphics on the outside. Looks absolutely awesome. I think the outside's actually finished. All these cool graphics here on the ceiling have all been put in. The boys are doing some graphics on all the um, Perspex panels now as well. We're doing loads of wrapping, so wrapping uh, in four-way stretch, like things like this, like bits, just panels everywhere, and the panels up here in the ceiling uh, to cover all the electric. So uh, lots of finishing touches and bits and bobs to do now. So yeah, it's all good fun. So looking pretty smart. This was the designs that we were given that Scotty drew up for us. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, yeah. <laughs> it looks exactly like it was supposed to. So happy with this, it's come out so, so well. So like the last stages of this whole kind of thing that we're doing is to get the tech installed, which uh, I thought was gonna be super, super simple um, because we've done it over and over again in the studios, but doing it on a bus was a completely different story. Fitting monitors, Macs, PCs, keyboards, mice, getting all headsets set up, getting the Ecamm studio set up, the Xbox. So we'd started this conversation with Comic-Con about uh, that would be our first outing with the bus. There was quite a lot of pressure on. We'd guaranteed it, we'd advertised it, we said it was gonna be there, and it was still quite a lot to do at this point, so we really put everything into it to try and get all the tech working, installed, ready to go. So we're happy, um, and yeah, and then off we went to Comic-Con. Do you know what? I can't joke about it, actually. It is incredible, I'm blown away. We are gonna be getting some kids to experience what it's like to actually go on the tube bus. It's gonna be an amazing day. The bus looks absolutely amazing. Everything's set up and ready to go. So 
looking mm. forward to it. It's going to be great fun. So we're just doing the finishing touches, finalise it and getting ready for everybody to come through. Should be a good day. So when you start out on a journey like this, creating a bus, you don't really know how this is going to come out. You can see drawings, but until you start to build it and you're in that space and you're using that technology and you're using it with children, you don't really know how this is all going to pan out. There's so many kind of worries and fears because there's so many moving parts on a project like this. There's loads that can go wrong. Is the power going to be correct when we get there? Whether the PCs needed updating? We are now downloading an update with my phone, which is not even connected on 4G. And you can see a progress bar there going very slowly. There's just 101 little things that, that might go wrong. And, um, you know, luckily, we actually uh, we got through it quite unscathed. <laughs>